Doctors are puzzled by the sudden rise of a mystery illness that has hospitalized at least nine kiddos in Washington state. In fact, one little one, a little boy, died over the weekend from what doctors believe is a rare disease. It's called acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM. The paralyzing virus attacks the central nervous system. The CDC says it's investigating at least 50 possible AFM cases nationwide. However, right now, it's still unclear how someone gets the disease and how doctors can treat it. Do joining me now is Dr. Mickey Bonsall, a pediatric emergency medicine physician. I'm sure you're seeing, are, have you seen cases of this uh, in your ER? We currently in our ER have not seen any cases, Michaela, and thank you for having me on. But indeed, it is very scary what we are noticing in this country right now. So this mystery polio-like illness is, as you stated, uh, thought to be acute flaccid myelitis, which is a neurological disorder that is affects the central nervous system, primarily the spinal cord, and it presents with a sudden onset of weakness in the limbs, loss of motor tone, and sometimes even uh, inability for kids to swallow or um, use speech. It so, almost sounds as though they're having a stroke. Exactly, and that's what, you know, it's, it's extremely scary. So um, we do need to get the word out. And as you stated that, you know, CDC confirmed 50 cases. They have actually now, by the end of September, confirmed 89 cases across 33 states. No, this is just the frustrating part. We don't know what causes it. We don't know how you get it. We don't know why it's on the rise and that there's no specific treatment. How do you deal with it if a child comes into your emergency room with with what you believe that is AFM? How do you treat them? Great question. So, you know, the CDC and some of the bright minds in our medical community believe it to be related to certain viruses. For example, enteroviruses like polio or polio-like adenoviruses, which cause our common cold, as well as uh, West Nile virus, which is transmitted by mosquitoes. So, you know, before we even proceed to the emergency room, parents need to know that some of the things that they can do to prevent yeah. these illnesses are naturally to vaccinate their children, to be aware of the symptoms, as we stated, that, you know, there are mm -hmm. stories coming out from families in the hospitals that whose kids have presented of their little one, their three-year-old attempting to go utilize the restroom and saying, mommy, I have a limp, or parents notice a limp, and then oh, within no. 24 hours, they're paralyzed. So things that, you know, you can do is use mosquito repellent especially and vaccinate your children. Now, if they present to okay. the emergency room, we do perform testing on their neurological systems to see what type of muscle tone they have lost. And again, we as pediatric emergency physicians are at the front line because the majority of yeah, you are. parents are gonna be coming in with so, so afraid, bringing their kids directly to the ER. Yeah, no, I can imagine. It is terribly frightening. We're hoping they're going to learn more about it very soon. I know the medical community is looking, looking at it very closely. Dr. Mickey Bonsall, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you again, Michaela.